hey guys it's the attack here i know it's been a crazy week for me i uh, hope you guys had a great week i uh, just wanted to talk to you about something uh, a big part of my life especially growing up as a young guy like in canada being in toronto was great i got the chance because major city in canada to be able to see so many different acts come and play as you can see i'm wearing my Family Values Tour shirt from 2007. Uh, it's a tour headlined by Korn, and they pick other various medium fame, we'll say, artists to play with them. Just so happened the year I saw them, uh, the co headliner was Evanescence, so that was kind of freaking cool. I went for Korn and got to see Evanescence. I saw Trivium, tried Job for a Cowboy. It was, it was interesting, but. Uh, I still have from that this uh, card that they gave us with the different things happening on the different dates and uh, it's weird I actually went August 10th to see the Marilyn Manson Slayer show to go see Slayer and I just remember the Slayer fans being like oh my god look at these weird Marilyn Manson fans and then they dealt with them in their own way when they, uh, Slayer came on. They decided to mercilessly beat them. So a lot of them left. It was. Uh, on the other side of this was another big tour, the Vance Warped Tour. You know, it's. This one was the 13th of 2007, and it was really interesting because it had all the weird people like. Bad religion, okay. Paramore? Really? Kill Switch and Gage? You know, uh, or jumpsuit apparatus. Just odd. Odd makes things, I personally think. Uh, it would have been good to go see this one last year. I'd been to the 2004? I can't remember. A lot of the tickets I had, I lost. They got damaged. You know. So that sucks, because I've been to a lot of concerts, but, uh, you know, I wanted to ask you, well, what's the kind of concert you went to that you enjoyed? Maybe your first concert, maybe a concert of an artist you've seen many, many times, you know, it's just so much to you. I'm going to show you some of the ones that I have. Uh, I got the chance to see the late, great Tom Petty, this guy down, just Roger Sitter now. Um, at the time was the most amphitheater I got to see Death Leopard. As you can see, I take my tickets and I put them in frame to a lot of them, the ones that I still have, or they are going to be put in frames, like my Roger Waters ticket, I had to put that in the frame. That was an awesome concert, it was like seeing Floyd, that was, I don't regret that at all. Um, one time, my aunt asked me to take my cousin to a concert because she was underage and she was like 14. It was like a bunch of emo type, crappy school rock, punkish, weird type of music. And I have the ticket from one of the shows. It's like they were called Forever the Sickest Kids. I'd never even heard of them before going. I actually ended up finding that one of the acts who was there had cancelled and this other band filled in Courage My Love and they were a harder, more of my style of music and they're really good and I actually got to meet them and have talked to them several times and they've signed a bunch of merchandise and I, I love them. So that was a good one. Uh, then there was a big one recently for me was the loss of Eddie Van Halen. That was a huge loss for me and the world. But I was lucky enough to get to see them at the Air Canada Center the reunion with Dave Lee Roth, so that was, that's special. Uh, there's another one here I want to show you. I can't show you them all, there's so many. It's uh, in 2005, my stepmother took me to go see Duran Duran at the uh, Air Canada Center. And here's my family values to get to the from this shirt as well. been to see, you know, everything from Alanis Morissette to Ozzy to Megadeth to, 
to, you know, Kill Switch Engage, to Electric Light Orchestra, Paul McCartney. That was a big one for me. Uh, got to see him in 2010 at Air Canada Center, made my dreams come true. That was well worth the 300 something dollars for the ticket because I always want to see him. He's my favorite artist, so that was well worth it for me. Uh, what's the show that you saw that really changed your life musically? You know, what's a big show for you? Maybe your first concert, maybe one you went to recently before COVID. Uh, it might be one coming up that you haven't been to yet because of COVID. Could be anything, a festival, you know, your favorite artist, like I know my wife, she's gone to see a certain band, like, many, many times, country band, but I doubt what about for you, I would like to know, uh, let us know in the comments, give us a like, subscribe, and thank you for watching, and don't forget, nostalgia is everywhere!